So guys, in our previous video, we were talking about the count data regression and we studied about the pause regression and we covered two, uh, three of the uh, uh, objective that to build a model for count data and when the assumption of count data, which is the mean equal to various uh, axis, like there is no over dispersion, then we uh, apply the pause regression. But how to work when we have a negative, when we have the uh, over dispersed data? So we had one assumption, we had one correction, which is negative binomial distribution. Negative binomial regression actually correct the uh, uh, poison regression when over dispersion exists. So in this video, we are only uh, uh, demonstrating the application of negative binomial distribution when we have a uh, SPSS software. So in the last video, we talk about our data, which is uh, about the days absent our response variable, language uh, uh, language uh, arts and the mass arts were our uh, co continuous covariate. Gender was our categorical covariate we use it. To apply the negative binomial distribution, we are going to uh, follow the same procedure like going to analyze generalizing the model and generalizing the model. This time we are using negative binomial with log link. Okay, let me say. We are going to use negative binomial with the log link because we are at this moment correcting the uh, issue of the poison regression. Response variable is again our days uh, absent. Predictors are our categorical uh, variable will go to the factor box. Our continuous independent variable will go to the covariate box. In the model, we will uh, we will take all the variables in the model, and we are going to use the main effect at this moment. In the statistics, we will include the exponential parameter estimate, which will which will produce the odd ratio, only for the sake of the easy interpretation. Otherwise, we can use the parameter estimate. We will press OK and you can see we applied the poison relation at the you know, previous video. Again, where we can see we have different table. It's about their informing what is the dependent variable and we are using the negative binomial distribution using the log function. So case, uh, case processing summary is telling, I mean, how many data were entered in the, for, for the regression. This is a descriptive statistics for the uh, categorical variable, like be female for 51.3%, male for 48.7%. This is descriptive statistics for the our continuous variable. Our dependent variable is days absent, which has mean 5.81 and the standard deviation 7.449, which implying that if the standard deviation is high from the mean, the variance would be more high, more, would be more uh, than the uh, than the standard deviation, which means the over dispersion exists, which is corrected by the binomial distribution, negative binomial distribution. And it is saying, like, look at here in the last video, we can see our Odevious value was 7.6. Here we have 1.364. And we said if the Davies value is uh, near to 1.0, so we will say that the over dispersion, uh, the, the issue of the over dispersion is corrected. So goodness of fit test, uh, uh, we check the over dispersion issue from the goodness of fit table. Omnibus test is saying that overall model is uh, significant, or, significant uh, or not. So the p-value is less than 0 0.05, which implies that the model is good fitted, uh, is significantly good fitted. While this is the test of model fit is telling the p-value of all the uh, variable entered which is which you can also see in the box parameter estimate and this is our main table which you want to interpret and you can see you can interpret this beta coefficient also like 0 0.431 which imply a positive effect of the female or the negative effect of the mass and the science score using the beta values the deviance so and the exponential beta are the odd ratio and it it eases the interpretation in a sense that the value of the for the female zero was female. So 1.538 means the female had 53% more chances of uh, uh, getting absent as compared to the males, which are at the one which had the one coding. 
and you can also see the confidence interval of the of these error ratio are more than one it means it is more than one both uh, lower and the upper limit are more than one it means it will have also a significant p value and looking at the language score the p the confidence level are both less than one which is also yielding uh, yielding a significant effect it means with one uh, one um, score increase in the language marks the uh, days of absent decrease significantly while the mass score you can also see that it the confidence level the off ratio is 1.998 the confidence level is contains the value of 1 because it is from 0.9 to 1.0 so we are also say looking at the p value this is insignificant so when the one a value lie in the lower and the upper limit it is a uh, less than uh, the p value come out to be insignificant also so this is how we apply the negative binomial distribution the details are given in the lecture so this is how uh, this is how we, this is what we cover in the two lectures like how to build model for the count data regression our preference is the poisson regression or the poisson log linear model and but if the over dispersion occurs over dispersion means the uh, variance is far uh, more than the mean then we have and we can detect it using that where ratio of the deviance which is uh, if it is near to 1.0 then we will say the over dispersion does not exist if it is far from uh, 1.0 then we will say the over dispersion exists and what to do at that moment we have to apply the negative one of the recommendation is to apply a negative binomial distribution and how to do uh, either negative binomial or positive regression using the generalized linear model option in the spss this was a summary we uh, we covered in the two lecture applying the poisson regression model when the response variable is count and if the categorical variable uh, uh, is in, in the set of the independent variable we call it independent log linear model otherwise uh, it is simple poisson regression and the poisson regression contains a dispersed over dispersion value we detect it using the when the mean standard deviation are equal or the ratio of the deviance value and the parameter estimate in the SPSS is, is the main uh, uh, table which we interpret and we obtain such kind of data like this one. That's it for the lecture. Thank you so much.